Hi guys, what is going on and welcome back to my channel and welcome to a well needed long overdue vlog from Marbella. It is Sunday for me today and to be honest I don't have much of a plan. I never really like planning my Sundays, I like kind of just seeing where the road takes me. So I'm going to be training, I'm going to show you some of my meals. I am going to show you an apartment tour because I actually just realised that since I moved here I haven't actually showed you like an updated apartment tour. So we definitely have a few bits and pieces to catch up on today. I'm using a new little vlogging camera that I picked up yesterday um, for this video. I just found my other camera, like I'm actually going to show you the size of the lens that I was using on the other camera. Like it's the same size as my head and it was giving me a shoulder pump every time I tried to record with it. So I picked up like a little smaller Canon one instead and it's much more practical for me. I'm not sure if you can tell like a difference in quality or not. I'm just like testing the waters with it today. But anyway, I'm about to make my first meal of the day. So this is today's breakfast setup. And to be honest, this is what I had for breakfast every single day since I got here. There has been a lot of controversy about these sausages or hot dogs or whatever you want to call them. But guys, don't judge a book by its cover. They actually taste really good. I know they look disgusting, but the macros are really good in them. I put them on my Instagram story and people were losing their minds over how disgusting they looked. And I don't blame you, to be honest. Per 100 gram, we have 93 calories, 3 fat, 2.3 carb and 13 protein. Like, I'll take it. For any of my gals or guys here in Spain, this is them, the 3% fat ones. I also either have a boiled or a scrambled egg. And I found this lactose-free butter. It's not a light butter. Um, and that's on purpose, to be honest, guys. I'm trying to, like, increase my calories at the moment. And, like, get my appetite back to where it was. So any, like, spreads, I am going for the full whack calorie spreads. Because I'm not trying to cut calories right now. But the lactose-free one is a huge plus. Because I can't eat the lactose over here. I also have some light ketchup and just some regular white bread. Very basic breakfast. Around 500 calories. And it's high protein. So it's a good way to start the day. Definitely not the most aesthetically pleasing breakfast. But macro friendly does the job. Okay, so this is today's gym fit guys. I have on one of the Alflux sports bras and the Amplify leggings and these are going to be restocking and coming in loads of new colors on June 5th as far as I know. So keep your eyes peeled. And we're all Mexican dad shoes back in full force. They are ankle bites, like. <laughs> I'm very hungover and Caroline's making me go to gym. Actually, you didn't make me, to be fair, I did offer, but. I, I think like having a fitness friend a good thing when you're hungover or a bad thing. It's a good thing. I'm actually fresh as a daisy, thank God. So we're gonna get, I think it's gonna be a leg day for me today. Yeah, it's definitely it's a leg day, actually. Yeah. What am I talking about? Yeah. It's 100% a leg day for me. So I'm still a little bit restricted with what I can do when it comes to like movements, compound movements especially. But I'm gonna bring you through my workout anyway. It's gonna be a good one. Victoria did some aggressive tanning yesterday. Very aggressive. I am a lobster. <laughs> Although I feel like it's turning into tan. Yeah, it is. To be fair, when I burn, I feel like I have to get scalded first. Yeah. Then I peel, and then I get a base, and then I can tan. Whereas it's honestly a fucking <laughs> process. It actually really is. It's a long process. Oh, it's hot. Whereas Vicky Stop. gets here, she lies in the sun for one day and she's like 10 shades darker. Like, it's, it's the not hottest fair. day today as well since I got here. It's 30 degrees. Look at this tan line. Oh Don't my. fall asleep in the sun with a choker on, honestly. <laughs> okay guys, so we are starting off with lunges. Um, I haven't actually shown the Versa grips on my channel yet, but these launched last month on TOM Fitness and a lot of people were like confused by the look of them and how to actually use them. This they basically just help with your grip strength so you don't have to worry about like holding a heavy dumbbell. So you wrap it around the opposite side, you grab it and twist, and it literally just won't move now.
that is leg day done. Um, good workout, actually very good workout. I'm quite happy with that. I feel like I complain about the heat all the time until I'm like training because the sweat and the pump is always way better. But we are just strolling back home. Strolling, hiking. Yeah, we are hiking, <laughs> that's what I was getting to. I think this hill, like coming up to our apartment complex, is actually harder than any workout we're going to do at the gym. It's honestly just horizontal, <laughs> like it's just straight up. So I think we're over the worst of it now. It actually doesn't even look that bad on this cliff, and but I swear. And we actually carried full on groceries, like five bags up this hill before. Oh, that was the worst thing I've ever done in my life. It was so bad, we had to stop like 15 times. Hello, buddy. Honestly, I was expecting a big mama reaction. Hi, Pablo, every single time. Hi, bud. <laughs> Hi, Pablo. <laughs> Hello! So we are back from the gym and I am just about to tuck in to my post-workout meal. I am sweaty as hell, I don't know if you can see it. Guys, you better get used to this like upper lip sweat and forehead sweat situation because I think this is what I'm going to look like for the rest of the summer. So this is the setup. I'm having four Vita Bix and some almond milk. I'm also having Alpro yogurt with um, strawberries. So this is something I normally wouldn't eat but as I mentioned earlier, like the lactose doesn't agree with me and these flavoured Alpro yogurts are actually really, really good. So I'm glad I found these ones. I'm also going to have a banana and Victoria made lovely protein smoothies earlier. So I put this one in the fridge for myself and I'm going to get that into me as well. So if you have watched my channel for the last two years, you probably know by now that I literally eat the same foods over and over again. Like I'm very stuck in my ways when it comes to food. But I've gotten very adventurous, if I do say so myself, when it comes to eating new things. Like even the Alpro yogurts, those are things that like I just wouldn't have bought myself or even tasted. I always thought I hated all types of cheese until I tried Philadelphia and I actually like that. And that's thanks to Victoria. So I think over the next couple of months, I'm definitely going to be having new things in my diet. Something that I would have never done before. So excited for that to expand my taste buds beyond just the plain usual staples in my diet that I've eaten for the last couple of years. Another thing that I've also changed about my diet over here is my meal sizes are much larger and I eat like less frequently. Sometimes I might only have like three large meals in the day whereas back in Ireland it would have been like five or six times a day I would have been eating but especially since it's gotten hotter and like the last kind of couple of weeks as well my appetite hasn't been where it used to be so I find the bigger meal sizes are definitely working out for me when it comes to just hitting my macros at the end of the day. My goal right now is to build. I actually ended up losing a bit of weight which is like obviously the complete opposite of my goal right now but as of the last like 10 days or so I've really been back in my groove with hitting my macros, getting my workouts done and like really focusing on my building phase. I know it's a strange time to go into a building phase like at the start of summer but I was sort of maintaining for a really long time because of my back injury. I felt like I couldn't really cut and I couldn't bulk but now that I'm back into the swing of things and I'm like training properly again, my strength is being built up and my back injury is like tamed, my priority is 100% to build and grow. So I am gonna get this delicious meal into me now and I will catch you in a few. Welcome to Mad Crib. <laughs> Guys, this apartment tour is so overdue. I don't know how it took me until now to actually bring you through, but I'm just gonna give you a brief little tour of where I'm living at the moment. So. Coming through here, you'll see that it is an open plan living area, which I absolutely love. My favorite thing about this apartment has got to be the kitchen. Like I've always wanted an island in my kitchen and it definitely lived up to its expectations, especially for like cooking and entertaining. It's just like a lot more social. So yeah, this is the kitchen. It's obviously really white and glossy, but that's where Victoria comes in handy because she has her cleaning utensils at the ready at all times. And she's definitely helped me maintain this place over the last week. As you can see, everything is like built in, which is nice. The only huge downfall about this kitchen, they have one socket. Like, have you ever heard the likes of having one singular socket? For a whole kitchen the toaster and the kettle fight on a daily for that socket and then over here the fridge freezer is like flush in with the kitchen which i thought was nice same with the dishwasher like look at this it's such a hot twist you would never think that's a dishwasher but 
This is how our fridge is looking at the moment. A lot of zero calorie drinks. You can tell that Victoria has been around with all the cheese. We have some random sausages and like a random smoothie. I actually like have a pain in my stomach even looking at these yogurts, but Vicky insisted on trying them. Were you not sick after you no, tried them? No, they're fine actually. And maybe so. it's just my weak ass stomach, so I can't even eat yogurts over here. <laughs> over this way then we have the kitchen slash dining area. This is never really used, to be honest. Like we have our laptops here, but I can't remember the last time I actually worked at the table. We normally work on the couch or in our bedrooms or else out on the balcony. We did have breakfast here this morning. That was probably the first and last time we're going to sit at that table, to be honest. And then over here we have Pablo's throne, as you can see. Such a sad looking dog. Oh. You want to show everyone around Pablo? No? Okay, I'll put you back there. TV, I got a fire stick for this TV and I think I've honestly used it twice. Like, I turn on Netflix and within 15 minutes I am drooling on that couch and I'm asleep. So the TV really isn't going to be used. I feel like in a place like Marbella anyway, if you're sitting in watching TV at night, you're an absolute loser. So I'm not too sure why I got those fire stick channel things. But look, they're nice to have for, I suppose, the colder months when I will be chilling in the apartment. And out this way, we have the balcony. So we have these doors that slide right open, which is lovely. And this is where I spend the majority of my time, to be honest, guys, positioned right here with my laptop toasting myself it's a lovely quiet complex as well thankfully like all our neighbors are chilling besides for besides the for the fucking marathon runner upstairs no we have a baby upstairs and when i tell you like he is going to be in the olympics <laughs> he runs they can probably hear me right now like, but he runs morning noon and night all like he's doing cardio 3 a.m like. last week he was like literally sprints onto it's 3 a.m yeah but like other than that baby, this complex is really, really peaceful and it's like a sun trap, this balcony. After like 4 p.m. then the sun, you're like shaded by the other buildings, which is nice so you can kind of relax here in the evenings. And then over here, we have like a little bit of a view of the mountain. We're going to hike to the top of that mountain actually next week. Yeah. You heard it here, guys. YouTube heard it first. We have to hike to the top of that mountain. I'd probably have to roll back down like for whatever. He actually thinks he owns the place. He does. He runs the gaff. He does. So if you come to this side of the balcony, this is how you get into my bedroom. So this is my room. The just purple bed sheets are absolutely not a vibe, but they just came with the apartment, so we move. So down here, we have the ensuite. And these are my two wardrobes, which I absolutely needed to be honest with my amount of clothes at the moment. And in here we have the bathroom. So we have a double sink, one for me and one for Pablo. And we also have a double shower head in here. This is actually a really big shower, to be fair. There's one here and one here, and it's like a power hose. Like, I remember the first time, I actually might show you how powerful that shower is. Like, it actually blows you through the wall, like, when I turn it on. We'll be back in Ireland with the pressure on our hands. I turned this on the first time and I was, like, slightly sunburned and I felt like I was being whipped by the water. Okay, ready? Yeah, go on. <laughs> there is absolutely no need for that. <laughs> and then this way we have the other bedrooms and the bathroom. So this is, like, the main bathroom. Victoria has temporarily taken over this one with all her lovely bits and pieces, of course, organized as hell. Another really ugly purple bed sheet. We really do need to get new bed sheets. Like these are not a mood at all. We don't even have the cushion parts of them, but we'll just ignore that for now. And through here we have the spare room. Actually, I call this the hair room. because This is where I do my hair. And I'll show you why now. So this is like, where we do our hair, we have our three stations, to be honest. I do my hair here, skincare in Victoria's bathroom, and makeup in my bathroom. So it's a good little setup. Um, and obviously, if you look into this mirror, you can actually see the back of my head as well. So it's great for styling my hair. I do feel bad, though, for any friends that call that have to like sleep in the bunk beds. It was a bit unexpected when I saw these bunk beds, but I'm sure they're coming handy at some stage. But that is the tour, guys. I absolutely love this apartment. The location's really good. We're like a four minute walk from the main gym that I go to. And there's also two pools in the complex. 
So there's like a heated pool and then there's like a bigger communal pool and it's actually really starting to pick up. Like the last few weeks when I go down to the pool it's just been me. Whereas like this week there's actually been people down there. It seems to be really picking up over here. So it's really, really exciting. But I hope you enjoyed the little tour. So I just finished up doing some client work and on my lunch breaks, I always just go for a little quick stroll around the complex with Pablo. And I normally position myself on this little bench. So this is the vibe around the complex. The gardeners put in so much work to this place. It's actually so cute. Every morning when I get up like 7 a.m., they are out trimming the trees and the grass and sweeping the place and it's so well kept. I feel like I might have been a little bit rusty in my vlog today because it has been so long. And there's just been so much going on over the last few months. like two out of the last four months i couldn't actually lift and um, i know you probably can't tell that from instagram because i was still at the gym doing rehab work and things like that but two months off the gym like there's just been so much other stuff going on as well and i feel like i just wasn't in a position to pick up my camera and you know bring you along when i couldn't really train and things but i am back with a bang now guys i'm back training again i'm back like trying to build up my strength again and just documenting things for you because this is what I do best, like this is what I love. But anyway guys, I need to go back up to the apartment and do a little bit more work and get another meal in. So I'm gonna wrap up this video here, but I hope you enjoyed it and I'm really excited to bring you along for the rest of the summer. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will catch you next time.